The Department of Corrections Manilao, a prison built for just over 300 inmates, now houses roughly 600, 400 of whom are detainees waiting for the outcome of their cases in court. Lieutenant Anton Uggen is DOC spokesman. When it comes to detainees, we don't offer anything for them. We only warehouse them. We offer maybe a few psychological, if they need to see the doctor, or some medical treatment if they need that. But as far as rehabilitation programs and things like that, that's non-existence. Uh, we're just holding them pending the conclusion of their case. And sometimes it could be months, it could be years. And while the prison remains overcrowded, it is also understaffed. Lieutenant Uggen says there are 47 unfilled positions for corrections officers alone. That has created a surge in overtime, $70,000 in overtime every two weeks. But it's not being paid because it's not in the budget. We're about seven, eight pay periods behind right now. So, uh, and I know they are working on trying to get it paid, but it's a constant challenge every, every, every pay period. Symptomatic of the crisis, a hole cut through the back fence discovered this past Sunday evening. There were no escapes, but a shakedown of detainees at the adjacent Dome number two found a cell phone, chewing tobacco, and drug paraphernalia. Five of the detainees tested positive for ICE. They were put to post six on a special housing unit, uh, and then a review of the other inmates that were currently here. The uh, review of their records was done, and the warden moved them, and an additional uh, up to about 14 people were moved out from this unit. Uh, and uh, they remain at post six right now, pending further investigation. Are you on lockdown now? The compound right now, visitation has been canceled. Uh, other than religious, uh, minimum religious, uh, attorney visits and other medical and dental, the facility is on lockdown. The hole was only about a foot square in size. It's not clear whether an escape was planned or if it was used for just contraband. The contraband that was found, we, we're not sure at this point whether it is a result of the hut, the cut hole, the hole in the fence, or if it came in through other means. Uh, again, uh, the dome holds, holds COC, contempt of court, and probation violators and parole violators, and a few level two detainees. So some of them that do come in here already are positive. Normally, contraband is thrown right over the fence, and this easement road along the back side of the prison is notorious for that. A new perimeter fence is now under construction to make that harder to do. We're on a 12-hour shift right now, so overtime is, is pretty high, and uh, we just continue to hang in there, and hopefully relief will come soon. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.